and welcome to Let's Fly VFR. Today we're going to have a look at Matchmel Fisheries from Prop Strike Studios. This is a bit of free scenery, guys, and uh, I think you are going to be as impressed as I am. So let's jump in the Robin. Let's go for a bit of a fly. Welcome to Let's Fly VFR. All in next plane 11. Props, jets, and much more. All done in real world weather. Let's make it as real as possible every fly. Subscribe, like, and leave me a comment. Look forward to hearing from you. Well, here we are with the Robin 401. I'm loving this thing, <laughs> I've flown it a few times now. But we're not here to talk about the Robin, because we've done plenty of that. We're here to have a look at Mashmel Fisheries here in Canada. And again, uh, it's a this is a great airport, guys, and uh, Prop Strike Studios, who actually don't know how long the guys have been around for, but they're putting out some nice work. Their uh, pixel densities and uh, detail is just amazing, so... Uh, let me have a quick look at this for you. This We've got hand-painted custom sceneries and textures, 10 centimeters per pixel resolution. And uh, if you listen carefully, you can hear the ground under the wheels here. Great little bit of detail. Highly accurate 3D vegetation. Uh, we've got grass and shrubs, trees, bushes, as you can see, flying past. But isn't that nice that it's not flat texture? So as we cruise out... We're going to have a, look, uh, a quicker look around the area as well. Um, we've got some beautiful scenery. Go for a quick cruise down the river here. There's some great places to discover. Um, maybe you wouldn't recommend doing a loop from an Iliad ground level, but we'll get away with anything here. Give it a go. And the robin doesn't mind at all. So getting back down, probably... I'm not sure about uh, the distance that the guys have done with their um, their textures and everything. It would be nice if there was a little bit more borders across um, between the water and where the hills are. But um, generally, it's just a beautiful little package. And it just uh, shows what the guys are capable of. And being that it's free, I recommend you guys go out and download this and have a bit of a fly around Canada. It's obviously a very beautiful country as well. Do a bit of low level stuff now we'll come back around and then we're going to have a look at what's available there i'll try and show you everything that's there there's a couple of campsites there's the main strip which is really just a big dirt road um, and there's a, uh, a few more buildings there's boats but it's just the little things and the one thing that really got me other than the fact that i've whinged a couple of times on other videos about not having any 3d grass and i finally found uh, a, a nice set from, I think it's RU or RA Library uh, to put on my St. Bart's. Um, the guys have done a magnificent job of creating uh, a number of different 3D plants and stuff uh, around, along with the trees and everything as well. Now I have turned this down a little bit. Now this is turned up to max. This is my computer maxed out. So it's a little jittery because it was doing about three frames per second. But uh, technology helps me make it a little bit smoother. Um, I could not fly it at this level of detail. But uh, as you can see, it is magnificent, isn't it? Really beautiful. And, and I just love the countryside. The countryside is excellent. And um, you need to come and have a look, guys. That's really good. So you end up down here. You can take off from either end of this strip. Or you can taxi around the corner. Here you can come and park your uh, seaplane if you like and, uh, and then come up the pathway up to the camping zone I think it is or camping ground. Up here we got stumps and grass and uh, you can go, I've lived in one of those. Mm, yeah my wife and I lived in one of those in, a, in, a, in another life. Um, yeah that's another story. But look at the detail, just the bits and pieces around there. There's boxes around, there's wood uh, fencing, you know, you'd imagine just putting that together out here. And uh, trees, a good variety of trees as well, I know too. You know, there's different colours, different shades there as well, so a bit of detail. Um, if you want to go fishing, there's your boat. 
go grab that and uh, use your aircraft and tow it out if you like if you've got a helicopter pick it up and move it maybe so yeah beautiful look at the reflections in the water really nice so let's uh, let's fly in and, and we're gonna fly in and do a landing from this end and uh, and then we'll zip back out and we'll go around again for you just to give you a bit of a closer look at the uh, the immediate island which is um, immediately in front of us funnily enough just there to the left so you can see the road you can see the uh, the runway so we need to go right we're on a bit of a base leg make a left turn on to final just landing between the trees is just amazingly good fun because that's just something you don't do at, uh, at airports is it and I've got to say in real life when I've had to land over some trees it's it's pretty daunting actually coming in at something like this now the Truro Airport in South Australia if you're coming in from the north you have a, a choice of runways but you have to come in over a set of trees and in real life it's daunting you think am I going to hit one of those or not it tends to make you land a little bit longer so here we go down we've got it fairly casual coming here we've got plenty of room to land so I'm not too stressed about that put the flare on just get the nose up and just hold it up and let the aircraft settle a little bit of a float that's fine and the resistance um, is probably pretty reasonable as well coming across uh, some hard packed dirt road that's here um, it does take a bit of power to get you moving but um, it's not a, uh, a big effort to get yourself up in the air certainly in the Robin anyway um, you might try to come and land here with something with some larger tires and give that a bit of a go so let's uh, have a quick look up here for you this just give you an opportunity to have a look around doesn't it sound nice Whoop, little bounce look at the textures on the ground guys that's really nice it's just uh, just photo scenery but it's really good and the fact that you can as I've said on a number of times already um, hear that crunching of the dirt under the tires is just great so here's a layout you've got the fisheries itself you've got the runway the lodge the campsite and a parking area and there are I think three different places or four different places that you can actually start from so you can change where your starts are so there we are matchwell sceneries or matchwell fisheries from prop strike studios highly recommend it go download it guys they've got some more i'm sure the quality will be fantastic there as well and uh, go fly. let's make it as real as possible every fly subscribe like and leave me a comment look forward to hearing from you